In this video, we have a wooden block that is fully submerged in a beaker of water. What will the force be on the scale when the block is fully submerged? Or in other words, what will the buoyant force be for the block? Recall from the buoyancy in Archimedes principle video that Archimedes principle states that the upward buoyant force that is exerted on a body immersed in a fluid, whether fully or partially submerged, is equal to the weight of the fluid that the body displaces and acts in the upward direction at the center of mass of the fluid displaced. So in our example experiment, if there is an upward buoyant force, there must be an equal and opposite force that is registered on the scale. Being that the block is fully submerged, we will need to find the total volume of the block which is equal to the total volume of water displaced by the block. The length of the block as measured is 5.859 centimeters. The width is 6.255 centimeters. And finally, the height is 3.769 centimeters. Being the block is fully submerged, we need to find the total volume of the block. So if we take the length times the width times the height, we get a volume of 138.12 centimeters cubed of water displaced by the block. Now if we take the volume of water and multiply times the density of water, we get the buoyant force of 138.12 grams force. For the experimental value, we get a buoyant force of 133 grams force. This leaves us with an experimental error of 3.7%. The causes could be that the block is rounded, resulting in a false volume. The block is not cut perfectly square, which results in a false volume. And finally, the steel screw used to hold the block could be altering the results slightly. Now let's solve the problem if we are given the weight of the block, which in this case is 64 grams and the density of the block, which in this case is 0.463 grams a cubic centimeter. Recall that density equals mass divided by volume. We want to find the volume of the block so we can find the total volume of water displaced by the block. So we will rearrange the formula to get volume to one side by taking mass and dividing it by the density to get the volume to one side. Plugging in our numbers, we get a volume of 138.12 centimeters cubed. Now we can once again take the total volume of water that is displaced by the block and multiply it times the density of water. We get a buoyant force of 138.12 grams force. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.